align their prayer, how to align their prayer based on what they are going through. The prayer point to raise, the prayer point to pray at a particular time. Like as I tell you, we have 12 hours of the day and we have 12 hours of the night. That gives you 24 hours. That gives you 24 hours. That's why I always say to you, read Psalm 24. The earth and its fullness is of the Lord and everyone that lives in it. 24 hours, Psalm 24. Praise the Lord. You have to open the gate. Every hour has its own gate. You have to open that gate. There are angels assigned to govern that gate at all time. I, I don't know how I'm going to tell you this, but I have to tell you. There are powers guiding that. There are angels. There are beings. There are personalities responsible for that gate of every hour. Hours of the gate. So, and when this gate are locked up, you need a key to open it. You need a key to open the padlock. Because these guys hold the key. They are holding the key. They lock every hour. Every hour is guided. That's why we have 60 minutes. 60 minutes in one hour. Why do we have 60 minutes? Why do we have 60 minutes? The father walks in six days and rested. So every minute represents that day that the Lord rested. The, Lord, the, Lord, the father walked. This is deep. This is very deep. And I have to follow it scripturally. I have to teach you this. When you come to this understanding, believe me, every hour you'll be in the attitude of prayer. Every hour you'll be in the attitude of prayer, knowing that there are powers in that hour assigned to block you from excelling or from becoming what God has positioned you to be. Tell yourself every hour counts. And I tell you this, every hour you are growing old, you are not growing younger. Every hour that passes during the day, you are growing old. Praise the Lord. So this, you also have to know. But I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the prayer of this day, of this moment, of this hour of communion. Praise the Lord. About the padlock, the angels, I will also give you the names. There are personalities of every hour that guide every gate. Then every hour come together to form four hours, which is four cycle, bring to one angel, a personality that governs the four hours. That four hours represent the air, the land, the sea, beneath the sea. Hello? That represents the air, the air, the land, the sea, beneath the sea. And that represents also the east, the west, the north, and the south. They come together. Praise the Lord. They come together. And one is given to one being, one archangel. So all the angels that govern the, the, the four hours that come together report to this angel. And they report to this angel. Then another four hours come together, they report to the angel, the archangel in charge of that hour. Then another one come together for the report to the angel that, that govern that hour. When they report, now each of this hour has a key and has a gate. Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People of God, I want you to be serious. You know, you are pushing me to the level that I need to tell you something. But you should be able to... In you should be able to comprehend what I'm going to tell you. And I want this to go viral. I want it to go viral. So that people will understand because we say, oh, come, let's pray. Let's take communion. Let's do it. But some of you don't understand why we force you to do that. Now we have to put it clear to you. Why you have to do that? Why you have to do that? And I want to take it from this month of meditation to the end of month of meditation, which is the month of May, and we enter another month, I need to tell you this. I need to teach you this. And I want the world to hear. Because many people, many pastors, many people don't know about it. They don't know. And you can only get to know about it through the master, through our Lord and master, the Father. The, the Holy Father is the one that will give you this, gift, this grace. It's like when Enoch was sent, it's like when Enoch was sent from the creation. Anyway. <laughs> Great God of mercy. 
great God of mercy. People of God, you know where you are. You know where you are. Okay. Because of time, let me tell you. You see, there are three crosses that you see there. In that three cross, the one at the middle was where Christ was nailed. Why do you have that cross there? It reminds you of the infirmity, I mean, of the price he paid for you and I. And having realized that he paid that price for you, whenever you look at the cross, you know there are someone fighting the battle for you. But so whenever you look at it, you have to see Christ in that cross. You have to see Christ in that cross. And until you develop that eyes to see him on that cross, how can he solve your problem if you don't see him? How is that problem going to be solved if you don't see him? Praise the Lord. So you have to see the one who pays the price for you standing, hanging there. You have to see him hanging there. You have to see the blood coming out of his side, out of his two hands. You have to see the blood zooming out of his leg. The two legs. You have to see the blood coming out of, his, out of his side. Out of his right side. You have to see the blood coming out of his head. Praise the Lord. And when you see this, then you understand the price he paid for you. To be alive today. The price he paid for you to be alive today. And that is why I tell you what consummates all this. I said there are entity. There's an archangel that govern the, 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 four, the, the four hours. Another archangel govern the four hours. Another archangel govern the four hours. And that comes down to 12 hours of the day. Then the same thing applies to the night. The same thing applies to the night. I come back to the cross. The same thing applies to the, to the night. The same 12 hours governs the night. The same 12 hours govern the day. Praise the Lord. And each of these three hours is divided by three. It's divided by four. Praise the Lord. There are four personalities that stand on it, and they report to one. And when you put them together, when you put the three together, you take the first one, you take the, you take the first four, you take the second four, you take the third four. What does it give you? It gives you the three personalities you see in the cross. It gives you the Christ standing at the center. It gives you the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. People of God. It is time for you to understand that every hour count. Say that yourself. Say every hour count. Every hour count in your life. Every hour count. Why must you take every hour serious? The hour you don't take serious, any single mistake, you're out of this world. Any single mistake, you're out of this world. That's why you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. And David also emphasized on it. He said five hours I pray. And seven hours I praise God. Well, five, plus, five plus seven is how many? Five plus seven is how many? Twelve. Which means in the twelve hour that governs the day, David is an attitude of seeing God, talking to God. And what is what David have done is a demonstration of what every living child of God had to do every day. Every day. You don't do it on Monday, you say you cannot do it on Tuesday. You cannot do it on Tuesday, say you cannot do it on Wednesday. You cannot do it on Wednesday, say you cannot do it on Thursday. You cannot do it on Thursday, say you cannot do it on Sunday. No. No. Praise the Lord. So that is why when you take from morning to 12, you stop. That gives you the six, the middle of it. Then you take again from 12 down to six. There's another personality that every one of these ones report to at that very 12th hour. Praise the Lord. So this is a very deep thing that I'm trying to make you understand. But the totality of it is this. You have to pray every hour. You have to develop attitude of talking to God every hour. You have to use your padlock very well. You have to use your key very well. 
to open every padlock. Every hour, you have to say, Lord, I open the gate of this hour. And you move into it. Another hour again, you open the gate, you move into it. Another hour again, you open the gate, you move into it. Another hour again, you open the gate and move into it. Another hour, you open the gate. That is why when I said, when we are having our dry fasting or our six to six fasting, we pray hourly. Every hour we are in the attitude of prayer. Why? I have not come down to explain this to you, but I got to explain it now. Praise the Lord. And until you come, until you, you come to that realization, it's very difficult for you to excel in life. Very difficult. Very difficult. A lot of things, it's either you open now and they close in the next hour. That's why some people get, some people receive a call, oh, you have been invited for the job. The next hour they call, oh, sorry, we don't need you again. That job is given to someone else. You'll be wondering, no, 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 that job, I'm qualified for it. Something, someone has locked it somewhere. Praise the Lord. So they cannot call you. You cannot be called for an interview without you first opening the gates. It's like when you want to see a doctor. Every hour that you have to go there, that day, you must make sure you pray hourly. By the time you arrive there, everything goes smooth. Every single mistake, there will be a mistake, there will be a problem in the operation. Is it that they operate you, one thing goes wrong, or they operate, another goes wrong? Praise the Lord. That's why you have to pray hourly. So when you talk about this padlock, when the pastor begins to pray padlock, 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 I said, no, let me chip in something to the mind of the people. Praise the Lord. Let me chip something to your mind. And I know some of you will get to understand now what I'm talking about. How many of you get, get a little, a little clue of what I'm talking about. Did you get a clue of what I'm talking about? Praise the Lord. So take it very serious. Take it very serious. Take every hour of the day very serious. And take every hour of the night very serious. And know that each hour is governed by an angel. That is why we have 24 elders in the way in heaven. We have 24 elders in heaven. Why do we have 24 elders? Each of that elder takes part of every hour of the day. Each of that elder that report to the father are in the throne of the, of, of the mercy with the father, in the holy of holy sitting with him. Each of their report has a report to give on hourly. And that's why there are 24 hours, 24 elders in heaven, and I have 144 angels. I will tell you about the 144, how they come about. I calculate how those angels are governed. In the book of Revelation, praise the Lord. So this is what I need to teach you. And once you come to this understanding, your life will change. Everything about you will change. The way you see yourself, the way the angels see you, the way men see you, the way the environment see you will change completely. Praise the Lord. So take every hour serious. Say, Lord, give me the grace. To take every hour serious. Take every hour serious. Six o'clock in the morning, take it serious. Seven o'clock, take it serious. Eight o'clock, take it serious. Nine o'clock, serious. Ten o'clock, serious. Eleven o'clock, very serious. Twelve o'clock, very, very serious. One o'clock, very, very serious. Two o'clock, very, very. Three o'clock, very serious. Four o'clock, five o'clock. Six o'clock again, then that complete the chain. That complete the chain. Please take hourly prayers very serious. When we walk with the key, when I do a padlock service, I say, hold your padlock. Take your padlock. We break the padlock. After breaking of the padlock, then you go with the key. And I say to you, hold this key very well. I don't know, many of you have lost your keys. Many of you have lost your keys. We have to do it again. When you have your key, you have to use that key every day. You don't use it and stop. If you have three keys, four keys, five keys, six keys, seven keys, yeah, you hold it every day. And you begin to use it. Because those that are against you are, those that, that are with you are more than those that are against you. But you must know who are with you and those who are against you. Yes. 
I see some of you waving your key. Say, yes, I still remember my key. I still have my key. That key is what you have to use on hourly basis. On hourly basis, you set the alarm. By the time you set the alarm, one week, two weeks, the third week, you don't need alarm because you have alerted the angels what to do. Every hour, they remind you time for prayer. If you don't do it, you receive a slap in your ear. Physical slap, I'm not joking with you. They will hit you, pa! Either they hit you or something must happen to remind you. Wow, it's time for prayer. Then you pray. And the time you pray, that door open. Then you wait again. You continue to operate in that realm. You continue to operate. When the circle closes, you have to, again, enter the other one or open. When you open, then you continue to operate, continue to operate on that, continue to operate on that. When the circle of that one closes, then you move to another one. Praise the Lord. People of God, these are spiritual things that are very deep. I didn't learn it in the physical. It's a gift of the Father. So that's why I need to teach you this. And the moment you understand this, <laughs> which is a wizard will run away from you. The moment they see you, they know that something bad is, is going to happen in their realm. That's why they have to fight to destroy you, so that you don't know this. Because knowing this is a way out. Praise the Lord. Knowing this is a way out. So people of God, the prayer of padlocks are very dangerous prayer. I pray the padlock, I pray the padlock, I pray the padlock. It's a very dangerous prayer. It's a prayer you don't pray and close your eyes. Because at that point in time, something is happening. Something very deep is happening. My uh, this prayer touched me. It touched me. This prayer touched me. I tell you the truth. This prayer of this prayer of today touched me. And those of you that miss it, I want you to go back to that prayer. It touched me so much. Remember the Bible said in Luke chapter 1, verse number 45, he said, Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. Hallelujah. Luke 1, blessed are you who believe that all the promises of the Lord for you will come into fulfillment. Luke 1, 45. So you are blessed to hear this. And knowing fully well that the Lord will fulfill that which has promised you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 1, verse number 1, down to verse number, I mean verse number 4, down to verse number 5. The word of God said that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed, that you might know that which you have been what? Instructed. That which you have been instructed. Verse 5 said, there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zechariah of the cause of the Abbeys, and his wife was of the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. She believed in the fulfillment of the promises of God. She believed in the fulfillment of the promises of God. Luke 1, 4 to 5. Luke 1, 4 to 5. He said, and that, that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. You might know the fulfillment, praise the Lord, the fulfillment of the promises of God. That is why he said, there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zechariah of the cause of Abia, and his wife was of daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth, hallelujah, Mary and Elizabeth, the gift of the Holy Spirit. When Zechariah was praying and the Holy Ghost appeared to him and said, your wife will conceive. He said, what? He said, how can this be fulfilled? I'm too old. I am too old. So blessed are you. Blessed are you who believe in the fulfillment of the promises of God. Blessed are you who believe in the fulfillment of the prophecy which you have had today. Blessed you shall be when you go out and blessed you shall be when you come in. Blessed shall every hour be in your life. None of the hour will strike you. None of the hour will deny your blessings. For blessed you are who adhere the instructions 
Praise the Lord. Mary had instruction and she believed. Elizabeth. But he who doubted, which is Zachariah, who doubted it, was damned until the fulfillment of that promises. Praise the Lord. So blessed are you who have had the instruction of praying hourly and you apply to that. And you apply to it. That is why I said that you read that scripture. Luke chapter 1. When you get from 4 to 5. Verse number 4 to 5. The fulfillment of the promises. That's why I said blessed are you. Who believe the Lord. Who believe the prophecies of the Lord. And wait for the fulfillment of those prophecies. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for forgiving our sins. Thank you for cleansing us of every unrighteousness. Thank you for purifying us. Thank you for sanctifying us. In the name and blood of Jesus Christ, everlasting Father, you never say goodbye. When you say yes and no one says no. When you challenge... No one can say no. When you command, no one can check, command, no one can no one can say no. When you say yes, no one can say no. And when you say no, no one can say yes. But I remember your word in the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 2, it said, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Tell thou these great buildings, there shall not be one left, one stone left unturned, that should be thrown down. Holy Father, we thank you. Father, none of your word will be delayed to manifest in our life. Because your word is here and amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. We give you praise and honor, Jehovah. Thank you for forgiving all our sins. 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 Father, we have come to partake of the flesh and blood of thy son, Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, by your mercy, as we partake of it, same power over us is broken. The powers of delay, the powers of not hearkening to the promises you given to us is completely destroyed. Thank you, Abba. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are prayed. People of God, I wanted to open your Bible to St. Matthew Gospel, chapter number five. Take your Bible, St. Matthew Gospel, chapter number five. Then we partake of the communion. Remember every hour, our Lord Jesus Christ, when he was in the temple, he taught. He said, blessed, in verse number three, he said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I commence from verse number three, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. He went to verse four, he said, blessed are they the more, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that more, for they shall be comforted. He went to verse number five, he said, Blessed are they which hunger and thirst for righteousness, said, for they shall be filled. For they shall be filled. And in number six, he said, Blessed are they which hunger, no, no, number five, number five, sorry. Number five said, Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be but blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall inherit the earth. Number five, please. Blessed are the peacemakers. Who are the peacemakers? The children of God. Those who understand the time and season. He said, live in peace with all men. Continue to do good. Never let the Lord is the rewarder. In the name of Jesus God. That's why they see, say, blessed are they which hunger and thirst for righteousness sake, for they shall be filled. Seven said, Blessed are they. Blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall be what? They shall receive mercy. They shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the merciful. So you have to be merciful at all times. All these hours, you have to remember this prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ. This, this spiritual instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Blessed are the merciful. Number seven. For they shall obtain mercy. 
8, he said, blessed are they, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. So you have to have a clean heart. A clean heart is a heart that communicates with the Father. A clean heart is a heart that has a dialogue with the Father. A clean heart is a heart that sees God. A clean heart is a heart that can sit down and say, Father, here I am. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Number nine say, blessed are they, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And then I wanted to note number 10 very well as well. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Blessed are they that are being persecuted for, for For what? Righteousness said. Righteousness. Praise the Lord. So once you they identify yourself as the righteousness of God, as one whom Christ has taken to represent him, be ready for persecution. Be ready for persecution. That is why I said, bless you to you. When all manner of things in verse number 11. Praise the Lord. But underline that 10. Underline 10. Underline 10, please, before we go to 11. Underline 10 in your Bible. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When all men reveal you, 11. Blessed are they when men shall reveal you. And persecute you, as I say, all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. And verse number 12, underline that the 12th hour of the day. He said, Rejoice, be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophet which were before you. Hallelujah. They, so they persecute those who have come out boldly to defend the gospel. Who has come out boldly to defend the church, to say no to the evil being done, no to that sister that is instructing you, giving you wrong counseling, no to that brother giving you wrong counseling, no to that angel giving you wrong counseling. Praise the Lord. Look at that to again. Say rejoice. I'm not that Isaka is going to reward you. Not that your husband is going to reward you. Not that your church is going to reward you, but reward from the Father. Divine reward is what you are talking about. Say rejoice. Rejoice and be excellently glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted there the prophet which were before you. And 13, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his sample, wherein shall it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and be thrown or be downtrodden by men. Praise the Lord. You are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. That's who you are. Say, I am the salt of the earth and I am the light of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take it to the end again. He said, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Fifteen, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick in the house. Hallelujah. Then finally said, 16, let your light so shine before men that they may be see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. I close on verse number 16. I close on verse number 16. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which are in heaven. 
So, people of God, what we have commanded you today is not going to be seen by men only, but by your Father. He said, let your light so shine before men. Let your light so shine. Say, Father, as I partake of the communion today, may I shine. Let my light be seen by all men. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why the book of Isaiah declared to you that your light will shine. He said, Arise, shine for the light has come and the glory of God is risen upon you. Hallelujah. I wanted to say, Father, thank you for the grace to hear your word. Thank you for the grace to remind me to pray of every hour. That every hour I need a key to open the padlock. To open the gate of every day of my life. I need the key, Lord. Thank you for the key. Thank you for the key given to me to open the hour of communion. Thank you, Holy Father. Go ahead, begin to give him thanks. Go ahead, begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him thanks for the grace. Give him thanks for the grace. Give him thanks for the grace. Go ahead and give him thanks for the grace. Continue to give him thanks. The grace to partake of his flesh, of the flesh of the Son, Jesus Christ, and of the blood of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and ask for that grace. Ask for the grace, ask for the grace, ask for the grace. In the name of Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, continue to ask for the grace. 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 For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we prayed. Father, you have reminded us of the word of thy son, Jesus Christ, who we are about to partake of his flesh and drink his blood. Father, as we do so, grant us the grace to pray hourly, all the days of our life, that when we wake up from our bed, we pray. When we wake up by three o'clock, we see the angel that govern from three down to six o'clock in the morning. Father, you grant us the grace. When we wake up from 12, we see the angel that govern from 12 down to down to 3. When we wake up 6 in the morning, we see the angels that govern from 12, from 6 in the morning down to 9. And the one that govern from 9 to 12. And the one that govern from 12 to 3. And the one that govern from 3 to 6. Oh, Holy Father, grant us the grace that we open the hours of every, the doors of every hour in the name of Jesus Christ. They empower us today. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. And I hear everyone say amen and amen. Hallelujah. The teaching of this day, for the people of God, take it very serious. Take it very, very serious. If you have missed it, please, this is important for you. But uh, I, this can I tell you, this is 12 volumes of the book. 12 volumes. And each of the each of this book is bigger than 144 pages. I mean chapters. 144 chapters. Each of this book, I'm telling you. But I need to give it to you. Praise the Lord. The hours of the day, the angels that govern the hours of the day, beginning from 6 o'clock in the morning down to 6 o'clock in the evening. And the one that governs from three o'clock, from six o'clock in the morning to three o'clock, I mean to nine o'clock. And the one that governs from nine o'clock down to twelve o'clock. The one that governs from twelve o'clock down to three o'clock. The one that governs from three o'clock down to six o'clock. This you got to know. But knowing this, some of you will not have time to observe and to do all the instructions. Because each hour has an instruction, has what you have to do in that hour. The way you position your prayer, the same thing applies to the night. The same thing applies from 6 o'clock in the night, in the evening, down to 6 o'clock in the morning. Each of them has things that you need to do. The kind of prayer, the way you position your prayer, and the kind of prayer you have to make. And the name of the angel or the personalities governing that hour, in charge of that hour. Each of the 24 angels that still with the Father in heaven, each of them has their name. And there are particular archangels that report to those elders in heaven. 
There are particular angels, archangels. Remember, each of the archangels has legions of angels working with him. Praise the Lord. Because there are those that oversee the things in the sea. There are angels that oversee the things in the sea. There are angels that oversee men. There are those that oversee women. There are those that oversee children. There are those that oversee lions. There are those that oversee cats. There are those that oversee lizards. There are those that oversee snakes. There are those that oversee, you know, everything that liveth has an angels, has angels assigned to them. So how do I explain this to you? This is very deep. Praise the Lord. This is very deep. It's not something I just, you know, that's how Lord Jesus Christ said, when you are baby, I fed you with what? I fed you with milk. But when you are matured, I fed you with what? With the bone. So there are some of us that cannot be able to comprehend what I'm telling you now. Because it's so deep. And if your eyes can open in seconds to see what I'm talking about, you'll be terrified. Some of us, even when our eyes open, we say, no, we don't need to do this earth anymore. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So this is what I was trying, I'm trying to make you understand. It's not an easy thing, but it's very easy. Praise the Lord. So people of God, good morning. Good morning. How many of you still love me? How many are still are with me? How many of you are still with me? I know some of you will be saying, oh, man of God, we don't understand this thing you are telling us today. This is, this, is the, this is very deep for me. This is very deep for me. I don't get it. I don't get it. So which means every hour there's something happening in my life. Yes. I tell you, every hour there's something happening. That is why you have to be very careful in what you do every day. You have to be extra careful in what you do on your daily basis. The way you position your prayer, the things you do, the do and don't of the day, and do and don't of the night. There are some nights you don't have to sleep because of what is going to happen in that night. On Monday, there are people that are assigned for Monday. Tuesday, there are personalities assigned for Tuesday. Wednesday, there are personalities assigned for Wednesday. Thursday, there are personalities assigned for, Wednesday, for, for Thursday. Saturday, there's a Friday, there are those assigned for um, uh, Friday. Saturday, there are those assigned for uh, Saturday. Sunday, there are those assigned for, for Sunday. Praise the Lord. And the same thing apply the first month of the year, the first day of the month, and the first month of the year, and the last month of the year. So how can I explain all this to you? You must be in the spirit for you to understand what I'm trying to say. Otherwise, when your eyes is open on second, which I can ask the father to do, I can ask the father for your eyes to be open in that environment where you live. You will run away from that environment. You will run. In fact, if anyone will ever tell you to come back to that house you are staying, he says, sorry, you don't, you don't want me alive. You don't want me alive. If you want me alive, you cannot encourage me to be in this house. Praise the Lord. You cannot even encourage me to be in this place. Can I tell you? Can I tell you this? Some of us are living under the, in the water where you are now. That house you think is in the solid ground is on top of water. It's on top of water. The whole environment is on top of water. Now, how can you live on top of the water and you are walking solid? How can you live on top of the water? You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Some of us are living on top of the graveyard. On top of the graveyard. Now, if your eyes open and you see that where you live, the ground you are marching is actually a grave. Where dangerous people are buried. Dangerous people are buried. Now, will you live in that house? You will not live in that house. So that is why we pray the Father to have mercy. We pray the Father to have mercy. I cannot explain these things to you because the people that have eyes will come and they will trouble you. And tomorrow you begin to say, man of God, yeah, what I'm seeing is too big for me. Please, do something. 
Hallelujah. <laughs> you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. People of God, you don't understand. But may the Lord give you that understanding in the name and blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So good morning. <laughs> good morning. Your case is settled. So now look at me. Everyone look at me, please. Those on Facebook, those on Zoom, those on YouTube, please look at me. Please look at me. Put your hand this way. This way, this way, this way. That you, are, you want to grab something is coming. Put your hand this way. Put your hand this way. And when I say close your hand, you close your hand this way. You make sure you have this. Make sure you have this. This way. When I say close your hand, you make sure you close it this way and you put their thumb to this one. This way. So that's what I wanted to do. I will explain what it means next time to you. But just do. Do it foolishly. And you see the manifestation of the foolish things you have done. That's why the Father said, I use the best things, which is the foolish thing, to prove to the prudence who I am. So put your hand this way, everybody. Those on Zoom, those on Facebook, put your hand this way. Those on Rafa TV, those on Facebook, those on YouTube, put your hand this way, put your hand this way. Make sure it's at the back of your, of your head. Make sure it's at the back of your head. Father, I stretch my hands unto heaven, and I bring down the key. I bring down that as they receive this key and open the door today, Father, the door of this hour, according to the cycle of life, Father, let the hourly doors be continually open your children. Now, take it. Take it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, bring it closer, bring it closer, bring it back, bring it back to yourself. Say, I'm holding in my hand the key of the kingdom. Say, I'm holding in my hand the key of the kingdom. Say, whatever I open is open. Say, I will open every door. I will open the doors of every hour. The 12 hours of the day and 12 hours of the night. For the king of glory to come in and bless me. For me to be able to walk through the elements. For me to be able to walk with my healer. With my deliverer. For me to be able to communicate with our Lord Jesus Christ. I hold that key now. And for me to be able to lock every problem outside me, lock every situation outside, every ugly situation, every unpleasant situation, I will lock it behind me. And I move forward in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. I have given your children that key of the kingdom, which you said you are the Peter, you are the rock, I build a church. Or you and the gate of hell shall not prevail. No gate of hell. No gate of hell. No gate of hell. Because right now they have the key. They have the key to bind. The key to open. The key to lock. The key open to come into their life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Now open. Say, I open every doors of the hours of the day. Say, 12 hours of the day, I open the doors of the 12 hours of the day. Say, I will walk majestically. Say, no power will befall me. No arrows of the enemy will locate me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, every door, 12 hours of the door of the, of the, of the day, I open the doors for my, for my greatness. I open the doors for my success. I open the doors for my prosperity. I open the doors for my life. I open the doors for my healing. I open the doors for my elevation. I open the doors of my, for my joy. I open the, jo the doors of my success. In the name of Jesus Christ. Began to open now. 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 Began to open. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Now open the doors of the night. Open the, begin to open the doors of the night. Every hours of the night you open the doors. Good things will come to you. No enemy is permitted to cross. No witches and wizards permitted to open, to pass through the doors you have opened. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, from six in the evening to six in the morning, I open the doors of goodness, doors of goodness, uh, mercy, 
mercy, mercy, blessings, favor, healing, success, greatness, abundance, increase, joy, positivity. I open unto me, to myself. I open to I because the I am that I am is in me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Say, henceforth, I padlock the enemy behind me. I padlock all the enemies of my life. I padlock all the bad things. Death, poverty, sickness, rejection, backwardness, prayerlessness, pettlessness, I padlock them. I gather them together and I padlock them. I decree I no longer give them access to get interest into my life, to get interest into my ministry, to get interest into my family, to get into my, to interest into my home in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that is in me. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. And I hear you say, Amen. Now take that your hand, put it in your pocket. If you have no pocket, go and put it in your bag or put it where my mother used to put. You know, my mom, whoa, I love my mom so much. I love my mom. My mom is pocket never dry. My mom has pocket never dry. As soon as I get to my mom that day, oh, I know I am going to be happy. Because once I ask her, I say, hey, look that way. Before I look that way, she already, nah, hey, something is there. For pizza, hallelujah. Something is there for KFC, MMC, MMC for McDonald's and, and uh, you know, I know you know. Hallelujah. So you put it there. Congratulations, people of God. Congratulations. And wherever you keep it, I want you to remember the place you keep it. Anytime you put your hand in your pocket, know where it is. With your spiritual eyes, you have seen what I gave you. With your spiritual eyes, you see where you keep it. With your spiritual hands, you touch it. With your spiritual hand, you take it. With your spiritual eyes, you see yourself using it every day in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. What a great moment. What a great moment. Aren't you wonderful? Aren't you surprised on what happened today? Huh? Praise the Lord. I know some of you are surprised. Some of you are wondering, what kind of prayer is this? What, was, what is going on? What really happened? How can the men of God begin to expose all these things? People of God, this is the gift the Lord has given unto us. And we have decided today to make sure that you, that, that, that gift is extended to you. Because you are an extension of the great work of God. Say, I'm an extension of the great work of God. Say, I am the extension of the great work of God. I am the extension of the Holy Trinity. Can I hear you say that three times to yourself? I am the extension of the Holy Trinity. I am the extension of the Holy Trinity. I am the extension of the Holy Trinity in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Means you are the extension of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You're not alone. And because you are the extension of them, anything you do, you succeed. Men we fail, everything we fail, but you will never fail. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is the Lord speaking. And I know it is done in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So congratulations. Good morning. Good morning to every one of us. 